These are the 80s. Outdriven, outstanding, outlasting. Welcome to the future that never was. The 80s were the decade of Wall Street and the fall of the Berlin Wall. Of the East versus West, the right versus the left, of nations coming together and others falling apart, of the rich and famous, of the addicted and afflicted, of the bright and the light. It was a time of MTV, VHS, and HIV, of Michael and Janet, Reagan and Thatcher, of Trump Tower and Tower Records, of 9 to 5s and superhumans, heroes and villains, Pixar and Adobe Photoshop, Pac-Man and Superman, the Apple Mac, Ducatis and Corvettes along South Beach, time travel, space travel, nebulas and galaxies far, far away. In the 80s, you could be whoever you wanted to be. You could fit in or stand out, be in or be out. You could vote, you could moonwalk, fight for what was yours and come together for those who need you. You could create and revive the past, disrupt the system, outrun time, design for the future and make it last. Just do it. Make art, live art, sell art. Do it yourself or make it pop. Make it punk or synth or new wave. Make it expressionist, exceptional, intense, irreplaceable. Hip hop. Make it Memphis, make it kitsch, make it faux chic. Make it make sense or no sense at all. Tell your story. The 80s were for squiggles and defined shapes of edges and wedges. Zigzag, color, color and more color. Pastel everything, and we mean everything. Neon grids, neon lights, neon glow, chrome, sunset graphics, vector graphics, script, calligraphy, and brush type faces, pronounced angles and curves, art deco, retro wave, retro art, retro future. The designer decade introduced Belair and Carlton, Formica and Terrazzo. In Japan, Kuramata, and Suzaki, Kita, and Umeda. The UK brought The Face, and ID Mag, Tom Dixon, Mike Bridger Jones, and Nick Jones. France was designed by Philippe Stark, and California by Frank Gehry and Michael Graves. The defining look of the 80s was the sum of all its parts. Form no longer followed function, but rather emotion and meaning, distortion and irony. Whether you live through them or not, we can all agree on what the decade looked like. Design reminds us that innovation doesn't happen in a vacuum. Design is a response to what's happening around us, what's yet to come and hasn't left us. Welcome to the future that never was. These were the 80s. If you enjoyed this little dive into the 80s, chances are you'll enjoy the first drop of our Design Revisited series. Click the link in the description box to learn more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast. And visit our website to find the tools you and your brand need to catch the next wave of success.